Welcome back on Peelers. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably seen some chatter about the hit HBO show Euphoria. The series wrapped up its second season on Sunday, and in a short time, it's become an icon of this decade's pop culture, which means our pop culture reporter, Kaylee Decina, joins me to talk about that cultural impact. Now, Kaylee, how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing amazing. Thank you for having me. I'm sure you're going to hate me for this, but I've actually never watched Euphoria. How do you feel about that? Sammy, I can never hate you, but I must say that you're missing out, and I think you're probably the only person who doesn't watch Euphoria. Probably the only person, but <laughs> can you explain to me this, like, how this show is impacted yes, social media? I would love to. So I really think that Euphoria has taken social media by storm. I feel like even if you don't watch the show, you know what's going on. You have a little bit of an idea of the memes and all the, the cast members and stuff like that. So basically, I would say Euphoria is mainly taking over Twitter and TikTok. Um, hashtag Euphoria Sunday happens every Sunday where fans will watch the show and then take to Twitter with memes about the cast and the episode and the content. And I find them so funny. Um, it actually, Euphoria is the most tweeted about show of the decade with 34 million tweets. So there's a lot of people watching. That is absolutely insane. Now, I live in our sorority house, and we actually have a pyramid, like an Abby Lee oh, Miller really? pyramid. So I see all the names up there, okay. but I'm like, I, I, I kind of got to get into it, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, no, now. you have to watch. You have to watch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, what aspects of the show are fans most invested in? So, I mean, I think it's so easy to be invested in the show because it deals with so many social topics. I think fans are really relating to one character or another. It basically covers everything that anyone might have to deal with in life. So there's that. I also think that fans are really interested in the characters off screen. I think especially characters like Angus Cloud, um, who's actually street casted by the Euphoria casting director. So he's never acted before. They literally picked him off the streets. So I think people are super interested in his story. Um, and a lot of the characters actually aren't that different. Um, from their character in real life and I think that that's really fun to see in the interviews and just learn about their lives because they haven't been in the spotlight before. Wow, I've never heard of people casting others off the streets. That's crazy. Well, that's all the time we have with you, but thanks so much for coming on, Kaylee. Thanks for having me.